Greetings, everyone. This is Michael W. Ford. Today I'm going to discuss and briefly explain what the clip-off is within Kabbalah and how it uh, is connected to Luciferian magic, initiation, and the left-hand path in general. I'd first like to start that the Klippoth, from all of its uh, uh, kind of streams of divinations that went into Hebrew mysticism, uh, started to formulate around and really crystallized around the 12th century and the medieval period, uh, really around uh, uh, Castile and Spain and different places uh, in Europe. And um, this Hebrew mysticism was based on earlier teachings from various um, Hebrew sages and uh, mystics uh, going all the way back um, to the Second Temple period. And what we see in, in Kabbalah, beginning in, with the 12th century and forward, is uh, their interpretation of, their, of the divine in a terms of uh, specific spheres or uh, points of power that were connected um, and have a mystical connection to the body, the mind, the soul and um, its connection to what the Shekinah or the, the divine essence and Yahweh have in connection. Now, Luciferians do not adhere to Kabbalah or uh, the cult of Yahweh in any of its uh, Judeo-Christian forms, specifically because the traits of this deific mask, this deity, is uh, quite alien to uh, the natural instincts of man and woman, and also uh, alien to the Luciferian uh, concepts uh, derived from all the different uh, pre-Judeo-Christian religions, uh, which center around traits of self-motivation, uh, evolution, conquering, enhancing the self, potentially, all of those things. Now, within the Kabbalah, uh, there is a concept, a basic structure of what is divine, cosmic, human realms, uh, and they're consisting of ten archetypical, uh, called sephira, or sephirot, um, each with which was invested with a lot of mythological energy. This mythical uh, uh, imagery connects to specific types of energy. Um, now, the word sephirot itself originates in the Hebrew words for numbers and counting. And as you know, they're very big on numbers, numerology. Everything has a meaning, uh, something beneath it, which is very attractive in Luciferianism in terms of uh, exploring and utilizing the klipoth, which is called the shell or the shadow, the other side. Um, so before I get into that, uh, this terminology really crystallized in the 13th century, and the ten sephiroth became known as kether, which is the crown. Um, that is associated with uh, virtue as completion of the great work or uh, attainment. Um, we have chokma, um, which is uh, wisdom, and that is the second sephirah. Uh, relating to devotion, um, uh, binya or understanding, uh, relates to silence and um, uh, also understanding, so a, a type of understanding. And um, chesed relates um, really to loving kindness or mercy that uh, for a Luciferian that can be just um, um, having the ability to love uh, those we wish, or places, or animals, etc. There's a balance there. It's not loving everything. It's loving strategically and what brings you happiness and what you can bring to those around you. So it's not ca uh, the compassion concept of uh, universal love. That's a kind of joke, if you will. You have to be uh, you have to have standards and you have to be realistic to yourself. Um, then we have Gabura, which is strength, and that relates to um, 
uh, might and also judgment, strength, uh, type of energy and power. Uh, it's related to the planet Mars. Um, Tippereth, which is uh, beauty, um, and that is devotion, um, compassion. You have uh, Netzach, which is victory. Um, Netzach also relates to endurance um, and uh, optimism. Uh, Had, uh, glory. Um, Had also relates to majesty, uh, and that's uh, truthfulness, practicality. Um, it's also related to the planet Mercury, which is transformation of movement, uh, enhancement, apotheosis. You have Yasad, the foundation, uh, relating to the planet of the moon. Now, uh, Yasad means as foundation, um, a manifestation of the lunar currents relating to Lilith, uh, specifically in this aspect, not in totality. But Lilith is one half of the adversary of Samael, or Samael. Um, so Yasad, the foundation, relates to a, a virtue of independence development. Um, and then you have Malkuth, which is the kingdom, uh, royalty or kingdom. And that is related to common sense, discernment, also the planet Earth, it's, it's uh, rational self-interest, mastery of... Uh, the knowledge you need to uh, towards your initiation uh, and towards the essentially the triad of the morning star liberation illumination apotheosis um, now this kind of poetic mythology that you find in the clipoth relates to something that is considered forbidden or dark to the traditional Kabbalist uh, in my work with the Klipoth. Uh, it, the other side, essentially, uh, relating from the word Sitra Ara, which means left side, relates to the shadow, the abode of chaos, uh, which has expressions in our subconscious and we can connect to from uh, the other, which is the anti cosmic uh, abyss, that from which surrounds the cosmos itself. There are demonic archetypes, deific mask, associated with each one of those. So, how do they work? This is what we're going to explore next. Now, in Kabbalah, you have uh, the concept of Yahweh, or the Hebrew God, and his Shekinah, which is more or less the queen, uh, or the uh, divine feminine in uh, Hebrew cosmology. Now, as Yahweh and the cult of uh, found in Kabbalah are, are uh, not connected and alien to Luciferian um, uh, initiatory mythology and magic, um, the mirror from the other side, the Sitrahara, is found in the counterpart, the adversarial force, the motivating, changing, destroying creative force against uh, the concept of Yahweh is uh, Samael or Samael and his counterpart is Lilith um, and she is the divine fiery aspect that uh, motivates and uh, stimulates Samael towards manifesting force and will so the two are intertwined and connected. Uh, now in a, uh, a pre-Zoheric Kabbalistic text um, called the Treaty of the Les Left Emanation, which is an excellent but very, uh, could be confusing for a beginner, the demonology of it has specific uh, depths and connections to initiatory uh, left-hand path magic. Um, there's a second uh, deific mass couple, uh, Ashmedei or Asmodeus, and the lesser Lilith, which is Lilith uh, Zeritra. Um, and they're a, a slightly lower level than the diabolical uh, hierarchy uh, of Samael and uh, Lilith the Elder, more or less. 
um, understanding this and finding this uh, such in like Ashmedei or Asmodeus as the king of demons in the Talmud uh, has a specific importance concerning uh, left-hand path magical approach. Now, the demonic side, the realm, has a variety of names. Um, we see, of course, other side, we see the Sitra Atra, uh, it's called the side of contamination. Um, and it is specifically a realm of demonic entities or deities uh, called Kelipot or Klipoth. And that means husk, shells, uh, peels. Um, and within that um, is the kernel or the moha, which is uh, Aramaic uh, for kernel essence brain, um, designating the divine. Now in Luciferian concepts, the, the shell contains a specific demonic energy and that is related to the adversary in these different forms. So it's not a uh, contamination or disintegration. There's a balance in which the Luciferian uh, taps into these energies within the subconscious and to the outer or chaotic uh, uh, other side, the left em emanation. Um, but the demonic and these metaphysical structures have direct uh, connections uh, with the personae of the so-called evil realm in which the Luciferian can uh, tap into and uh, through apotheosis, through initiation, um, can master those and uh, direct those energies productively in uh, his or her own initiation. Now, um, talking about the kether, the crown, uh, in the divine realm, in the infernal realm, or the clip off, um, it's the opposing current, um, and it relates to uh, the dual headed ones, the Tiomio, or the twin other god, the twins of god. Um, they are two aspects, two demonic aspects, adversarial, so you could consider them as being. Uh, Semael, Lilith, or uh, like Moloch, Satan. Um, it's an adversarial force. Um, and Tomio, or Thamio, is uh, the termination of Yahweh, or termination of God, or it could be viewed as the uh, death god, El, having relation to many deities in the Canite pre Judeo Christian. Uh, concept. Um, these specific demonic energies relate to self-mastery and uh, transcendence um, and awareness of internal change and evolution through time, through experience, insight, etc. This is a, a very basic approach to the Klippoth relating to the Ten Spheres is that there is not only just a ritual formula with that, but there's a period of time and of experience and of application of knowledge towards manifesting that, mirroring it internally, and uh, using that to transform the self. It takes time, and it takes a level of discipline, will, and um, your own uh, self determined intent towards what your vision is as a uh, not only a daemon but also as a luciferian so the balance is sought continually there and uh, once it's attained there's an awareness and magic the practice of magic goes way beyond concepts of ritual but it starts and formulates and is compelled forward by the internal focus of the mind uh, something that is a very exciting experience because there's still the ritual or whatever as you want to do, as you uh, feel driven to do. But there also is that which internalized from the apotheosis within the self, uh, which is a com uh, compelling of desire, will, belief, and your 
self-determined visualization of how to manifest what it is you desire in life. Now, in the other side, in the demonic Sitrahabra, uh, the, the mirror of the Klipoth, the Ten Sephiroth, um, understand that there are, are layers of symbolism. You have uh, within the demonic and, you know, mirroring in the Kabbalistic realm as well, you have the Ten Sephiroth. You have, also beyond the Ten, you have three additional relating to the worlds beyond Kether, which are uh, anti-cosmic uh, kind of spheres or uh, dimensions of darkness and chaos prior to the Earth, which are um, sought through the subconscious and the dream. Um, you have with the Ten Sephiroth seven breaths or seven aspects uh, relating to the lower Sephiroth, um, that fiery air which is imparted by various manifestations of the adversary, fallen angels, demonic uh, spirits. Um, there are three knots corresponding in the infernal realm um, to the left, right, and central columns of the uh, other side, the Tree of Death. Uh, seven uh, infernal palaces. Um, you have the king and priest or antichrist and uh, false prophet, if you will, in the infernal realm with uh, Benya and Chesed. Um, it, it, and in that, to understand the Klipoth and those shells and with Lilith are made, are created in Kalp. Kabbalism from uh, first the shadow of El or the divine uh, from the primal darkness but they are created and connected with individual humans and their uh, so-called uh, sins or lusts, desires, etc. which are considered uh, antithetical to Judeo-Christian morality and religion. So we feed that and also are fed by it in Luciferianism. There's balance. It's not overindulgence or self-destruction. It's mastery and power. That's the aim. Um, so when you have the demonic layers of the Klipoth, you're connecting to specific types of energy dormant within the subconscious, which might be fueling which you can compel and control. Um, so the, the concept is to reach into each of those uh, independently, not in consistency and not in a, a successive line of ritual concepts, but um, with Malkuth, um, with uh, going all the way up to uh, Thamiel of Kether, etc. So, understanding those, uh, especially within the terms of Lilith as the fiery uh, Shekinah, the motivating uh, goddess of darkness, of that fiery spirit which invigorates Samael, which creates that inner alchemy of infernal union, Lilith, Samael, Leviathan, begetting Baphomet. Chioa, the beast, uh, which is an, uh, a kind of shell uh, relating to the symbolism of the black adept, the Luciferian, the individual. You are the offspring of that, the manifestation of Baphomet, if you will. And that's all up to the individual and their course in life. So with that said, I hope this uh, presents a basic foundation of what the Tree of Death or the Klipoth is. I'm not going to get into opening each one, exploring those, but I wanted you to understand that uh, in works such as Bible, the Adversary, Dragon of the Two Flames, Scales of the Black Serpent, uh, also Thomas Carlson's book on uh, the Klipoth, um, are excellent terms for exploring what that is uh, in general. Um, and in the future, I'll have 
uh, deeper ex exploration videos on the Klipoth and how it's used in anti-cosmic and Luciferian types of magic. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and spread this video, and I will have more soon. Balama Araman.